Hello, student of grade 11, Applied Maths. Today we'll do exercise 5.2 logarithms. This question, question number 4 is to solve for x. We have to find the value of x. So, what we have to do is, we'll try to make log both sides and cancel. We'll try to make single log both sides and cancel the log and find the value of x. So this is log. Log x here log 3 plus these two will go up so log 2 square as part of formula this will be log 16 power will be 3 by 4 log x equal to log 3 plus log 2 square is 4 16 we can write 2 power 4 so power power cancel log x equal to log 3 plus log 4 minus log this will be 2 cube is 8 now we'll make single log on the right side plus means into 3 into 4 and minus means divide by 8 4 2 time you are getting log x equal to log 3 by 2 both side log cancel x is 3 by 2 so you can do second one as a homework you must get answer 6 let's do this one same thing log minus means divide so we'll write x plus 4 by 7 this one log 3 will go up so it will become 2 cube minus log next step log x plus 4 by 7 this is 4 okay log 2 cube is 8 minus log x plus 5 make single log on the left side also log x plus 4 by 7 equal to log 8 by x plus 5 so we can cancel log both sides so you are left with x plus 4 by 7 8 by x plus 5 cross multiply We get x plus 4, x plus 5 equal to 56. Multiply x square plus 5x plus 4x plus 4, 5 is 20. <coughs> so x square plus 9x plus 20 minus 56 equal to 0 x square plus 9x minus 56 20 minus 56 is 36 equal to 0 so do middle term factorization thirty six means 12 minus 3 is 36 and 12 into 3 is 36 and 12 minus 3 is 9 x square plus 12x minus 3x minus 36 equal to 0. I'm doing here now, please. So common here is x. And common here is minus 3. So x plus 12 and x minus 3 equal to 0. So x plus 12 equal to 0 means... x is minus 12. If we get negative, we won't take this number, okay? And x minus 3 equal to 0 means x is 3. <coughs> so answer will be 3.
you can pause the video to write the solution let's go to next question so we have to find the value of so same plus means we'll multiply log x minus 1 x plus 4 equal to log and this is under one bracket okay 3x plus 5 so we can cancel log bus on both sides multiply x square plus 4x minus x minus 4 equal to bring everything on the left side this is 3x x come here minus 3x minus 4 minus 5 equal to 0 this is cancel x square minus 9 equal to 0 so we can write x square equal to 9 if you remove the square you get plus minus root 9 so x is plus minus 3 so negative value we won't take therefore the value of x will be 3 positive clear simple solving question number four you can do homework answer you must get is four okay do this as a homework let's do question number six this is base x3 into we have to multiply everything nine into 729 which is equal to 9 so we'll try to break as a power of break it up to 729 if you break it up 3 2 4 is 12 3 3 81 3 20 7 3 9 3 3 so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we can write 3 into 9 is 3 into 3 or 3 square we can write and 279 is 3 power 6 which is equal to 9 9 also we can write 3 square so we are getting log base x how many 3 power 6 7 8 9 equal to so convert this 3 power 9 equal to we'll keep it this as 9 only we are getting the answer like that only it will be x power 9 since the power is same base also will be same so therefore x will be 3 and you cancel the power so x is 3 when you write in the exponential form this is in log form when you write in the exponential form this base and this become power okay 3 power 9 equal to x power 9 <coughs> so similar type this one you can do homework Na? Let's do this one log x this is 8x minus 3 by 4 equal to 2. So convert into power exponent form 8x minus 3 by 4 equal to x square. Cross multiply 4x square equal to 8x minus 3. Bring everything on the left side. So we have to do military factorization. 4, 3 is 12, okay? And 6, 2 is also 12. So we can write 6 plus 2. Now you'll get the answer. Your common is 2x. X minus 3. No common means 1. 
uh, 2x 2x okay 2x minus 3 so we are getting 2x minus 3 2x minus 1 equal to 0 so either 2x minus 3 equal to 0 2x equal to 3 x equal to 3 by 2 or so we're getting two positive answers so both can be the answer therefore x is 3 by 2 or 1 by 2 both are answer okay you can pause the video to write the solution let's go to the next question Question number 5, they have given this a square plus b square equal to 7ab, we are going to prove this and this. So let us do the first one. They have given a square plus b square equal to 7ab. And the first proof is, we need a minus b. So what we will do, a square plus b square, I will do minus 2ab both sides. So that I can apply the formula a minus b whole square. So this will be a minus b whole square now, and this will be 5ab. Now take log both sides, you'll get the answer. Log a minus b whole square equal to log 5ab. 2 will come down. So product means I can write as the sum log 5 plus log a plus log b now check the solution we'll get the proof let's do second one second one also you have to use the same thing to get the second answer okay and i need a plus b so for second one i have to use a square plus b square whatever is given i need a plus b whole square so i'll add both sides to a b Here we have subtract 2ab both sides for getting the answer. Here we are adding 2ab both sides to get the answer. So this is in the form of a plus b whole square. a square plus b square plus 2ab is a plus b whole square. And this is 9ab. See, right side we don't need 9. So we'll bring 9 here. If 9 comes down, it will be 1 by 9. A plus B whole square equal to AB. I'll make it whole square. 1 by 3. A plus B whole square equal to AB. Now we'll take log both sides. Log 1 by 3. A plus B whole square equal to AB. So, sorry. Log both sides means I have to take log here. Okay, now this 2 will come down. Log, I can write A plus log B. A plus B. This 2 will come down. If 2 comes down, we can write 1 by 2. This one. Log A plus log B. So we got the answer, okay? These two came down, and this I'm writing as this. So we got the proof. Pause the video to write the proof. Let's go to question number six. I have given a plus b whole cube. Using this, you have to get this answer. So whatever is given first, you write. So a cube plus b cube multiply 8ab minus 3a square b minus 3ab square. Bring this, take this two on the left side. a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square equal to 8ab. Now this is a formula of a plus b whole square. So we can directly write a plus b 
all square equal to not square cube and this is 8 a b now take log both sides you'll get the answer or uh, bring 8 here <clears throat> right side i need a plus, log a plus log b no 8 is there so i put 8 here we'll make whole cube now cube of 2 is 8 okay instead of 8 we can write i'm writing whole cube 2 whole cube <clears throat> now take log both sides this 3 will come down this is log a plus log b now bring this take this 2 on the other side it will be if 3 comes this side it means 1 by 3 and this is log a plus log b hence proof okay let me check we're going to prove this we got the proof let's do the next question using this only we have to get this answer they have given a cube plus b cube is zero formula of a cube plus b cube is a plus b whole cube minus 3 a b a plus b which is equal to zero so take this on the other side a plus b whole cube 3ab a plus b both side a plus b 1 1 cancel only 2 is left we can write a plus b whole square equal to 3ab now take log both side so this 2 will come down now this i can write log 3 plus log a plus log b product means i can represent as the sum of log log a plus b equal to this 2 will come down on the other side that means 1 by 2 log 3 plus log a plus log b so you got the same answer here see Pause the video to write the proof. Let's do question number 7. They have given this. We are going to prove that x is equal to y. <clears throat> so cross multiply. It's like reverse of question number 6. 2. So if you take it will become x plus y by 2 whole square and product uh, sum means we can write product reverse of whatever we did in question number 6 okay log x plus log y means log x y so both side log cancel I've made single log both side and log is cancel now apply the formula a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2a xy 2ab downside 2 square is 4 cross multiply now x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to 4xy bring 4xy on the left side x square plus y square plus 2xy minus 4xy equal to 0 x square plus y square minus 2xy equal to 0 that means this is whole square x minus y whole square equal to zero so if i remove the square we're getting x minus y equal to zero that is x is equal to one hence proof okay we're going to prove this we got the answer similarly we'll do this also and this is given so cross multiply 
if I cross multiply, I will get 2 here. So square it. X plus Y by 3. This will go as a square. This is log XY. Both sides log cancel. Square it. A square plus B square plus 2AB. So 2XY. 3 square is 9. x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to cross multiply 9xy take 2xy on the other side x square plus y square equal to 7xy since we need 7 on the right side divide throughout by xy okay x square by xy plus y square by xy we are dividing throughout by xy cancel here one y one y cancel here one x one x cancel we are getting x by y plus y by x equal to seven hands proof clear don't forget we're here dividing throughout by xy both sides okay So you can pause the video to write the solution. Thank you.